This is not funny. <laughs> that, that's not funny. You were stuck under a desk. <laughs> Wrong way. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, huh? You know, for 13 years I was a single mom. And the whole time I told everybody that I was going to marry a long haul trucker or a police officer so I didn't have to be around them all the time. You know, they worked, they had their own thing. And uh, yeah, just want to say be very careful what you pray for when praying for your future wife or husband. You know, sometimes your prayers do get answered and it might not be exactly what you had expected. Um, I do like my husband. I do like being around him. I didn't plan on actually liking my future husband that much. <laughs> so uh, we don't get to spend that much time together. Uh, he does work a lot. Last night he had to stay at base, but he is coming home tonight. So we're going to spend some time together when he gets here. I was just talking about um, ask for and you shall be answered. Uh, just a little while ago. Well, I opened this Bible up and it's a kid's Bible and it's a very nice Bible. It's in very plain words. You know, it has extra things in it. It's very neat to read through, uh, even for an adult. And this is what I see when I first open the book. You will receive what you ask for, then your joy will be complete. The Adventure Bible for Young Readers, New International Readers Version very good book for kids it says ages six to ten but i read it let me show you a few things did you know it tells what jesus did jesus is called yeshua here in hebrew that is his name it's got some maps highly recommend it for kids there is a lot of pro-palestinian people you know, I don't get into politics or religion, but I'm just going to explain it. Um, there's a lot of Palestinian people uh, that do not like Israel, that, you know, have threatened to actually kill me and my entire family um, just for me living in Israel and marrying a Jew. And these people are American. They're not even, they don't even follow... Um, they're not Muslim. They, they don't even follow that religion. So um, I'm not really sure what their thinking is behind that. I don't run the government. I don't run the churches, the synagogues, the mosques. I don't have anything to do with that. I just live in Israel. Uh, my husband is in the military because he serves his country. Israel is the biggest and only ally that America has in the Middle East. It is very important for Israel to stay strong. Still happy. Still happy. Believe it or not, the kids yelling outside is like an extra reminder for me that I need to get dinner done right now. It's basically an Israeli salad with quinoa. That's part of his dinner. And the other part is uh, probably cook a, a couple of these steaks. One for me and at least two for him. Are you helping me cook? I'm going to see how he reacts to the vacuum. I'm going to put him in his walker so he's like not crawling over towards it. Well, I had to vacuum later because that was not working out. Let's get the rest of the salad. I got to get back. He's off tomorrow. 
Dad's going to stay home. Tomorrow's actually my birthday. We're going to go get the um, car inspected because here you have to inspect your car once a year. And if it doesn't pass inspection, then you're not allowed to drive it. What's that for? For bad drivers to not have bad cars as well. <laughs> like missing tail light, the smog thing. Mm. Elon said you're only supposed to have one backup light. Oh, really? Reverse light. The little one yeah. in the back, on the bottom. Yeah. said you're only supposed to have one. Okay. I told him about it today. I said there's a bulb there. I placed it, but it doesn't work. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. He's going to eat his peas by himself. I'll probably have some of this on the salad tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. So Hadar had to leave. Um, one of the people that he works with called him and he's actually stuck so he has to give him a ride home but he's just down the road so it's only going to be a few minutes. But he's still eating his peas. La la. La la. Yeah. Ba ba ba. Yep, that's probably a word. In some country. Hadar's been gone for a seriously long time and I called him like 30 minutes ago and he's like, yeah, I'm coming home. So I have no idea what he's doing. What you got? Malibu. It's pretty it? good tasting, pretty sweet. Uh, rum with coconut. Hmm. I had one of those for about <clears throat> 15 years in my mom's house. Is this what took you so long? That's one. Got you generic pina colada as well because I like that a lot. Pina colada. Oh, I like pina colada. And I got you fish. A what? Fish. Fish? Fish. Which, fidge? Yeah. <laughs> you don't know this? No. Well, fidgling. Fidgling? It's fidge, you know, it's got figs. Okay, cool. Uh, fidge liquor. Alright. Fidge. Well. Fidge. <laughs> the baby's very excited fidge. about that. Fidge. Fidge. But really it's fidge. Fish. Fidge. Fidge. Yeah. Alright, so these two are gonna go. You guys got that? It's fidge. One in the freezer. I'm not an expert, but I like it cold. Okay. I like cold stuff. Yeah. Nice Baby drink. likes cold stuff. Don't hit him in the face. Nice cold drink on a hot day. Ooh, baby. Rafael. <laughs> it's the end of the world. And that's going to lie right here. Well, Stand. where's the white chocolate at? No white chocolate for mommy. Oh. A night off, really. <laughs> yeah, I take a night off. Uh, so these are all very cool, very nice drinks to have on the beach. And on days I take off, um. tomorrow is her birthday, which I took a day off in about three weeks in advance. In advance, I took a day off. Oh, tomorrow, yeah. Tomorrow, uh, July 9th. Oh, she's yeah. She's going to turn 30. 30 something. You don't know anymore? You don't want to know. <laughs> 30. Yeah, I'm gonna turn 30. Aren't I? All right. Run away, kitty. It's time for me to finish myself. Run away. And we gotta watch True Blood. Run away, kitty. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. See you tomorrow.